So here what we're going to do is accept multiple arguments into a function, and then we're also going to use a, a return statement. So here I have a function called calc on line 8, and it's accepting two arguments, number 1 and number 2. Those are the variable names. And we can have multiple arguments. You can have, there's no limit to the number of arguments that, yet, that you can have, or I'm not aware of any number of, of, of limits. Um, you can also accept multiple data types into one function through, through these arguments. So remember, on line 8, the, the arguments number 1 and number 2 that are being accepted are variables, and they're local variables to the scope of this function called calc. So I'll go ahead down below, and I'm going to call the function. I'll call calc, and I'll pass two numbers to it. I'll pass 4 and uh, let's say 5 in this case, and then I'll go ahead and close that off. And I'm going to make a, a variable, I'll call it total, and it will equal the value of 4 and 5. Okay. Here, um, for the function calc, I will ex say that um, a new number, I'll create a new variable called new number, it will be equal to number 1 plus number 2 that have been passed to it. So in this case, that will be 4 and 5. There we go. Let me go ahead and um, adjust the scope of that and say var. And I am showing an error because I don't have an equal sign right here. There we go. And then I will return. The keyword return is that it will now end the function. It will leave the function. It will return back to whence the function was called. So I return the value of new number. And that will return back to uh, to be held in, into the variable of, of total in this case. So now I will do an alert on total. Okay. I'll save that up. And let's give that a try. I'll preview that in Firefox. And in Firefox, I should have the number 9, which is showing right now. So just to give that another test, we can obviously um, change that really quickly. I'll, I'll actually add three numbers. I'll add a 1 in here. And since we're going to do that, I'll have to add another argument up here, number three. And I'll just say plus number three. All right. And so now, oh, that variable is incorrect. Let me bring that over. Okay. So now it should be um, 10, should be my result. And I bring that over as my evidence, and that seems to be working. So you can go ahead and um, try this yourself. You can change the numbers. You can um, only have one argument, or you could have four or five arguments. And then you could also reduce the number of lines in this program. You could certainly have the alert, just alert to the function calc, and then it will show that result. So you can um, reduce the number of lines by at least one or two lines. Um, so give that a try and experiment with that a little bit.